So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a Google Hangouts meeting um, without the need of a Google account or, or really the access of any other kind of email account. All you need is a computer with an internet browser and um, a connection to the internet. So over here you can see is information about a meeting that's been scheduled for me to participate in. I may have received this via an email or you know I may have gotten a, a phone call from a teacher or other staff member that provided me with this information. But this is what I'll need to, to use to connect to the meeting. Now looking at the bottom, one option I have is phone number. So if I didn't have a computer with internet access, I could use my phone, my, my standard phone, dial in this number, and it would ask me to add in this PIN. Now while I couldn't see the participants, I would be able to hear everyone in the meeting, and everyone in the meeting would be able to hear me. So that's one option if you don't have a computer or internet that you can participate in these meetings. The other is that I can actually use these, um, these links to actually join a meeting that's been scheduled. So I could click on the link. In this case, I'm going to copy and paste it to go to my meeting. It's going to ask me if this is the first time I've ever gone to join a meeting to confirm my microphone and my camera. So I did both of those. And then you can see here in the corner, there's an option for me to sign in. Now I'm not signed in to Google or any other email account in this browser and that's okay. I don't need to be. Instead, I just need to put in um, how I'm identifying myself in the meeting. So this is something that teachers or other staff members would, would work out with you. So they may say, join in as um, so-and-so's parent or so-and-so's grandparent, or they may even give you um, like a secret code to put in. So when they when they get it, they're like, oh yeah, this is so-and-so because I told them their code was tomato or whatever it is. Or they may um, tell you, give you, you know, like a, a pseudonym. So like, okay, you're going to log in as Julia Roberts or whatever, something fun like that. So whatever it is that you've, that's already been determined, you'd put what, what that is. So I'm going to just sign in as Mr. Coburn. And then it's going to give me an option to ask to join. So when I click this, the person who's hosting the meeting on their screen will get a pop-up that says so-and-so is set to join. And since you already, you know, kind of figured out what name you're using to join, they'll notice you and then they'll accept it. So I'm going to go and ask to join and see if the person on the other end gets the invitation and accepts me into the meeting. And Hello. there you go. Hey, there's my son. Hey, William, how's it going? Hey, okay. All right. So it's, it's that simple. He knew it was me. We already kind of worked out the plan in terms of knowing who I was. So I'm going to just click here um, to leave the call. Before that, I do that. A couple of things I'll point out. Here's an option to turn off your microphone. So if you're in a meeting and you're not the one talking, I recommend you do that and turn it off. That way you don't hear a bunch of stuff back and forth. If you're a little camera shy, you can click here and you can turn off your camera um, so people can't see you, but you could you could still see and hear them. And uh, when you're done, it's just a matter of leaving the call. So hopefully that gives you um, enough information that you can join these Google Hangout calls.